So we've gone ahead and finished off Martinez as the very first one for Patrick Hu. He is an 88 rated card. And to be honest, he didn't look like he went up in price that much. He was about 4K when I bought him. And now we are going to put him into the team as an 88. We have got some La Liga in there to try and get Stuani done. But I'm interested to see what sort of chem star we can go with. As to be honest, he isn't already a bad card from 88 rated. Has now got the ability to go into that CDM. If I can find him on here to see the, the stats. We are now getting the 88. Obviously, there is two different ones if you want to try somebody different. We've got him as, I'd say, as a pretty decent center back now. I reckon we could still go with a shadow. 86 pace, 92 defending. Turns him into a 90 overall defender. If we was to go with the anchor, turns him into a 91 defender with 82 pace and 90 defender, 91 physical. I'm quite happy with that amount of aggression, strength, and stamina. So I'm going to go all out with that uh, shadow. You can go with a CDM, and I think he probably could. So later on in the game, we might go ahead and whack him up top, or at least in that CDM where Rykard is, swap him out and see what we can get. Because the big thing with Martinez is the fact that he is a left back or, or has got the left back ability in some other cards. So naturally, he has got the better dribbling stats as well. 96 on that composure is already absolutely incredible nonetheless. So that is a huge upgrade. You get a plus eight on it. That is absolutely amazing magnificent the only thing we're missing now is a play style plus for him but it would be incredible if we get another one that takes him 19 above and gives him something like an anticipate play style plus that would be the perfect center back so let's not waste too much time let's jump in Amanez and see if he's worth that free evolution the one thing I want to see is how quick can he turn the agility balance is very very impressive from him Let's have a kind of look. Yeah, look at that. That reminds me very much of like the Bobby Moore sort of dribbling when he got the 99. Naturally, he's going to be a good center back nonetheless with this upgrade. But like I say, you could argue if you've already got someone like a Virgil and a Blanc or someone, you could just go straight out and go into a CDM role with him as naturally that turn in that dribbling is going to be enough to kind of keep him going. Passing wise, we're up to what, 78? We're up to 88 on the passing. So yeah, you, you're probably better off, to be honest, going with that CDM. As I feel like as a centre-back, he would be quite wasted. When we've not necessarily got the height, 5'10 is almost perfect DM role. I would say centre-back he could do, but there is going to be better out there for it. So naturally, I will go with uh, a CDM in the next few minutes just to see what is like pushing the ball up because Rijkaard sits to be honest, a little bit further back than this role. So I don't particularly want him going too high up as naturally I don't need him to. He is holding this defense down. See what he's like in this last defensive opportunity though. <laughs> to matter because Virgil's going to take all of the uh, all of the pressure off. Oh, he's on the edge. You never know. 58 shooting. <laughs> 59 shooting. Never going to be the chance. But the only thing literally now this card's missing. He's got a free star, free star. Could argue a weak foot would be nice. Then, oh, okay. Then naturally going for a kind of play star plus. It's the only thing left for him, really. Let's have a look at him. Push him back a little bit. We've got Varane in, in kind of place of him. Ooh, good first touch. Kind of screwed him over with a little bit of analog there. Lovely out from him. Very, very responsive. Yeah, CDM is going to sort him down to a ground. Bad pass out, but myself, probably the problem there. Def definitely responsive. His jockey's nice. He's he's just got everything as a CDM. I would argue it, it's a shame, literally. They gave us the, the John Stones SBC yesterday, taking it away with being able to put him into this, and then also giving us... Oh, that's poor. I want it on the floor. Then giving us a Martinez as a CDM as well. Much, much better. Definitely feels a lot better than that Stones one. Good interception. Can we get it out as well? That will be what's the key. Lovely. Absolutely stunning. Means that the centre-backs don't need to do too much work unless they are planning on passing it out to him every five seconds. He's just got a very good responsiveness as well. That's going to be the big thing for him. If you've got somebody that is kind of like a Zidane role that does enable you to have that attacking... Oh, he's going to go goal there. Oh, I've given it him back. Oh, but is it enough? Virgil's going to do enough. Wow, we got away with that. But he's going to give that leeway. Oh, he's going to give that leeway to, to Zidane to push forward once we actually get an attack where we don't give him the ball back. Naturally, he's doing the exact same. So we are basically having a game of pass it to each other. 
Going to see it out with him. A little bit of pace on him. Good enough to win it. And gets the ball away nicely. I'd say definitely in terms of a CDM. He plays it better than what we've got most of the time, to be honest. I'd say the only time it becomes a hindrance with him is probably more if you are looking for that kind of better box-to-box. -box. He isn't quite a box-to-box. -box. He is predominantly a... Ooh, oh, lovely. He is predominantly more a CDM, if anything. He he's kind of can push forward, but we know full well with 59 shooting... He's not going to be able to shoot. You, you'll maybe get one lucky shot off. And that is literally about it from him. It's very, very quick as well. That is the nice thing about him. It, like I say, it just it leaves them centre-backs just so much more open for you. So you can get that pass off. You can go up the field and, and kind of get more of a, a block on it. As so we find him here. Oh, Eto's going to push forward. and Can we get the angle? No. Can we get the angle? No, what are we doing? Roll inside. Oh, Mbappe, stop that. The only thing now would be is if we do get a paid evolution, I swear if Martinez can't go in it, but it looks better when you can, that would be so annoying. Kind of like that Pep's legacy when you kind of put Alaba into the team of the week and then into it. Imagine if you could get a one that first straight away for Martinez to make him into a 90, but with like a play star plus, that is going to be a phenomenal one, especially with him in that CDM role. He's already got that now, so you don't need to get rid of it. That would be the perfect next step for him. But knowing how good Martinez is already, I doubt we're going to get that anytime soon. I, I can imagine they'll stop you from getting it. They might like make the dribbling that one step a bit too short of what he's already got. And all the passing. The passing's 80, 88, I think. So already that's a, a relatively high, a high rating, to be honest. So whether we see that go up a bit more, a very, very doubtful. Do not let that in. So going into the overall form then, honestly, not a bad card whatsoever. I think the best out of the out of the bunch were the evolutions. Very quick to get done as well. You only need to do two, what is it, three matches in total, two wins in the first one, three wins, two clean sheets in the second level, and you get yourself your quadruple upgrade for him. I do think he is the best out of the whole bunch that you can go with. Obviously, it's not the highest rated. You technically could go with a 90. Uh, they're fully evolved already but in terms of Martinez it's a definite must do and it's purely down to the agility balance I think if it wasn't for that maybe you're looking for a decent center back upgrade he gets a bit of pace gets some more on the dribbling passing just to add that level if it's going for someone like a Gabriel it will always make him a better center back but for Martinez I do think the position change is the massive one it puts him into that CDM role like I said you could go with the shadow if you really wanted to to max out the defending and also get more pace does put him into a 92 overall CDM that is Probably better than what I've got. I've got Rijkaard at the moment that sits in that role. And I must admit already, he feels better. He's got a bit more agility balance. Yes, you could argue the no play style plus is going to have a factor. But if we know something about evolutions, it's the future that we're thinking of with them. We've seen some bronze and silver cards reach 96 rated already. That is phenomenal. If we could get a weak foot, a play style plus and a little bit of an upgrade, this card is going to be incredible he's great height for a cdm passing's going to a next level it's the free kick accuracy that's dropping everything which i'm fine with shooting wise i'm quite happy to just keep him as a cdm not a problem whatsoever i'd say the only drawback for him if you've not got a if you don't play with a cdm role in your current team you're gonna have to figure something out like i play with a, with the two center mids i can figure something out to make it work in game obviously you can change it so he is more center mid cdm i normally put him on center mid with or center mid with stay back whilst attack cover center that's going to work an absolute dream for him he's got the medium high on the work rates it's good enough i think in terms of a midfielder perfect let me know down below though who you're going to pick in patrick who and i catch you all for the next one peace